This is Deep Woken, and I spent seven consecutive days in this game. My goals will to obtain these three badges. But first, there will be some rules. Rule number one, I am only allowed to spend an hour a day working on this build. That means at the hour mark, I have to log out or it is an automatic failure. Rule number two, all the modifiers are on with the exception of three, Descendant, Val of Thorns, and Deep Champion. Rule number three, all badges must be obtained before or on day seven, or this challenge is a failure. Now, with all that being said, do you believe I have what it takes to overcome all these adversities? Well, we're about to find out. As I start on day one, I did what any other Deep Woken player would have done, trying to get the training gears until you realize you're broke, and then heading straight towards Lower Aresia, where I countered my first problem. I could swim, which means all my modifiers were not on, so I did what any logical person would do. Killed the guards, and then wiped myself. And now to speed things up, I decided to do the quickest method of progression, trial of one. I tried this many times and I died and died again and then also died again. After taking a five minute break, I was ready. I beat the Sharkos, I beat the Golem, I beat the Thresher. Now the one true challenge, the Angels. I had a hard fight, but I knew my time was coming. I missed the parry and I started to lose. I thought I would get one at least, but that flame enchant, it was KO for me. Without enough time to do another trial of one, I decided to just escape the depths. I made it to level three and I'm happy with that. This was so difficult to achieve, so I took it. So with that, I made my way up. I encountered another player, but with this player also came with another problem. He tried to kill me. Well, I don't know why he tried to kill me. Uh. So I just like talked in VC and he just stopped trying to kill me. Please, sir, please, sir, please. <laughs> I'll level three. <laughs> and then uh, he got me out of the depth. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. After I got out of the depth, I decided to start training so I can actually get to level four. Sadly, I only had about 10 minutes left. So I decided to go to Loresia to find a method to level up faster. Here I encountered my second player who also tried to fight me. And after a big scuffle here and there, running back and forth, I finally won. And with quick thinking in mind, I went to the banded village to get in a quick level. Afterwards, I decided to go to vigils where I'd end the day off and log out for the night. On day two, I decided to keep playing for another hour since it was already 12 o'clock. With that in mind, I decided to head back to Loresia to grind a few more levels. So as a strong boy, my papa raised, I beat the mess out this guard. And in the process, I also helped another players. So like, you know, that's low key like a win. And I got smacked by his friend. Honestly, what's, what's like, like, I can't comprehend what's wrong with you deep looking players, please. And after that bit, I decided to just fight some golems because I knew I was ready. I knew these golems were no match for me. And yeah. So again, making my way at the depths, and another player tries to kill me. Yo, yo, I, yo, genuinely, what is wrong with y'all? I, I, I don't want to play this game anymore. All right, so I got on my own elevator, making it up. Hopefully, I don't die, because, you know, I'm a deep walking pro, and, you know, pros never die. Okay, so I seen this mudskipper, you know, mudskipper stuck in the ground. Bro, I fought enforcers, mama thrashers. Like, bro, I'm, I'm a cook, right? But, you know, he got a little lucky few pieces on me. You know, not, nothing really major or anything, you know, because, like, I'm a deep walking pro. He got a little lucky. You know, his, his sword swings a little bit faster than mine, but, you know, he's really bad, so, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> I hate this game. In the video, I was actually really mad at this point, so I decided to actually just log out. I'm not gonna let you hear me rage quit, but I I was actually really pissed. So coming back on day three, I'm not 100% sure why, I just decided to leave. But I ended up making my way to Lorezia again, hung out with these high-level players, and got my ass beat. Thankfully, I didn't actually get gripped, but I also realized they were actually my friends, and I, as a generous person who gives lots of gifts, asked one of them to help me in golems, and then I died. Again. Did you die? I think I'm dead. I'm I under. Okay, now I died. So I have to do the same boring process over again. I got up the depths free, I glitched out my boat, and I died from drowning, which is actually pretty ironic. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Like, like come on, bro. Like, actually... So I just jumped off the edge after I got into the depths and finished it all off. Started a new trial, died to the angels again, wiped again, tried trial again, wiped to the Sharko, forgot to pick the right spawn location, wiped to the guard, tried trial again, died to the golem, and rage quit. So 
came back day four better than ever day four by far was the best day for me out of all the days previously where i had rage quit where things were bad i was really unlucky my first day my first 10 minutes of day four i still died what did you think was gonna happen but perseverance is a really good life lesson you should learn so watch what happened this time not that time i meant this time orbs beaten charco beaten golem beaten Pressure, cheeks taken, angels defeated. I knew it was my time, my time to finally beat Trial of One. But things don't always go as planned as you want them to. After the Enforcer, I was faced with the Sand Knight. I got cocky, a little too cocky. I started losing the fight, and eventually I died. And he threw me at the map to tell me learn my place which obviously is the depths but i don't take no for an answer i'm a perseverer is that even a word it doesn't even matter because i was gonna get out the depths once again and i was gonna progress because i was gonna do this i was gonna make it to day seven and no one could stop me not this game not a player on this game no one i had three hours left and i was not gonna waste it i mopped the floor with this mud skipper this icky bottom smeller i don't know what i'm saying but after that i got off the depths and i had one goal in mind go to the crypts level up and make it as high as possible before i log out for the day i've made it to level six at this point i've made progress progress i have never achieved since the start of this challenge also special shout out to this person the person that gave me the campfire to heal up when i was low beautiful soul right here i appreciate everything that you've done for me you made leveling up for me possible and with time and endurance i've made it to level eight the level that i thought i would never achieve when i died in trial one that many times but unfortunately my luck ran out all good things must come to an end me and my friend have perished alongside the kids. And even though I may never see my friend ever again, I got out the depths again to end the day off once again. Now you may notice something a little bit different. I am mud skipper and there's a thing above my head now. Listen, I failed you guys and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I have failed you guys. I took a long, long break. I needed a break i didn't know how long it would take but i logged on on my birthday start the journey up once again to see if i still had it in me to make it to day seven but before that i want to grab a collection of the things that happened to me along this journey and compile it into a little short film before i continue <laughs> And that is how our journey was. We faced many adversities. We got through them all. We pushed. Now it's time to do the day I've come back for. Now, it is time to get this done. Level eight, we got there. Now we're trying to strive for level 15. So after beating these losers up and getting low and running, I decided to go right back to Lower Rizia to hopefully gain some more levels. But obviously I had to drop out of address to grab a little quick drip, you know what I'm saying? But obviously I made it to Lower Rizia and headed straight to Golem. And I was easily able to fight a Golem, but unfortunately lagged out and got sent to the depths. At this point I knew I should have just logged. I should have just logged and waited another day. I got cocky, I got stupid. I thought I could get out the depths easily because I was high enough level, but I was unfortunately wrong. I was so laggy that I took fall damage multiple times. It just, it just happened again. What it, what it, bro, what am I supposed to do? I don't even think I have it, like have enough like health. I, bro, what the, bro? And I don't know what went through my head at the time. I just kept going and going and I lost so much HP and I just had to find shelter. I had to find somewhere I can slowly heal over time, but things don't ever go the way you want them to. I 
I was safe now. I was out of danger. I don't know why I didn't log, but I had a thought. Maybe I could go in the middle and go through that way because somebody probably rang all the bells. But there's an elevator now. I didn't even know that existed. I thought it was free, but no, you have to pay for it. And remember I used to talk about being broke earlier? You had, didn't have money again. So I thought about going up that ladder that, that's around the map until I heard a shark call. Video done. This is not even seven consecutive days anymore. No, I'm done. I, I quit. I give up. I can't do it. And there you have it. I I died. I, there is no possible way I could get to level 20 and get all those badges within two hours. But if you do want to see me try this again, hit that like button and comment.